Today we have uh, Mirko Sardini with us. Mirko is an architect. He's uh, the director and the chief curator of the CCA. Uh, one of his latest exhibitions is called Imperfect Health, the Medicalization of Architecture. And he has also taught design and theory at architecture schools in Europe and in the United States. A city is much more than uh, the stones, the material, the asphalt, uh, the bricks. Uh, cities uh, are built by the people who live there and by the people who pass by. And uh, uh, the physical configuration of the city is the result of an incredible number of actions. In the last 20 years, uh, the official culture of architecture and urban design has spent a lot of time and thinking in finding a new way to describe the transformation of the contemporary urban environment. Parallel to that, in the last 20 years, we have seen a kind of a resurgency of a kind of a, an uh, underground river which started in the 60s and the 70s with a lot of uh, part participatory process actions and intervention in the city which uh, disappeared for a long period from our view. That was the reason uh, for us uh, to collect these kind of actions. This is one of my favorite because it's a very, how can I say, a small effort. These families have been asked to bring their own bench in a public space in order to transform this in a shared space. Another one of a plan smarter strategy is this one in Colombo, Sri Lanka, which was the effort through the engineering of infrastructure, especially water, to create the possibility of urban agriculture in a shanty town in the slums. Whether, whether you see any uh, trend or, or movement towards these actions becoming instruments of, sort of formal city planning or city design? Uh, Self-commission on the side of architects, working together with some communities. And this is a very nice example of a, a mix and a possible transition which is able to deal with uh, population uh, use of users on one side and the institutionalized side on the other. You have mentioned that conflict is good in the city uh, because it's not good that the city is too passive. But could you be uh, more specific? Um, what kind of conflicts? All of these actions, all these things, are simply the um, physical um, revelation of uh, a conflict uh, in the use of the city, which the official way of dealing with the urban space didn't recognize before. Our society is based on conflicts, honestly. 